Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is seemingly a pretty basic algebra problem. However, many of you, I would say maybe half of you or more than half, are going to get this wrong. So the question is, we want to evaluate the expression x squared for x is equal to 1. Again, this would be a pretty basic algebra problem. But uh, without using a calculator, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to show you where a lot of people get a problem like this incorrect. So uh, hopefully, you know, if you're going to make this error, you're going to make this error with me so I can kind of straighten you out so you can get outstanding grades in your algebra courses. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, Make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so we want to evaluate x squared for x is equal to negative 1. A pretty easy problem. However, a lot of you are probably going to get this wrong. Hopefully, uh, most of you get it right. But let's go and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is positive 1. Now, if you got positive 1, there's a chance that you might have gotten kind of lucky, right? So you just did something or you thought, oh, I think this is positive 1. But uh, I want you to think about how you could justify your answer. Like, what would your uh, work look like? So in other words, um, if you were going to do this problem, and you put down one on your paper and you turn this in as a little pop quiz, your teacher is going to want justification, right? So they may give you uh, no points or half points. Then again, you end up with a, you know expression like this. Hey, that's not fair. Remember, in math, you always need to kind of justify your conclusions. So if you knew exactly what you were doing, or if you know exactly what you're doing, you're like, no, I understand why it is positive one. That is fantastic. So let's go and give you a nice, slow, happy face in A+. Plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that yes, indeed, you are an expert to evaluating algebraic expressions. Now, if you got negative one, well, you're in good company because a lot of people will put negative one down as an answer. So if you made this error, if you um, actually put down negative one as your answer, I'm glad that you did because I'm gonna be able to clear up, uh, obviously, maybe some confusion that you might be having. So let's go ahead and get into the problem. So the first thing we want to understand is what does this word mean in algebra? Evaluate, okay? Well, evaluate means when we are given um, some sort of variable expression. Now, there's a different difference between an expression and an equation. So, for example, x squared is, hey, I'm just expressing something as if I was going to write, you know, a sentence, you know, and tell you a little story. So this is just an expression, okay? This also would be an expression, okay? These are examples of expressions. But as soon as I put an equation like x squared plus one is equal to nine or an equal sign, excuse me, now this is an equation, all right? So this is an expression, uh, this would be an equation. So we really you know, wanna improve our algebra uh, vocabulary. And again, we need to understand what this word means, evaluate, okay? So evaluate means that we're going to um, assign a value for this variable x, okay? In this case, it's gonna be negative one, and we want to plug in this negative one into this expression and then determine, you know, what is this uh, equal to, all right? So we're gonna to have to simplify this numeric expression to get some final number, all right? So that's what evaluate means. Take your variable, whatever um, uh, number is assigned to that variable and plug it in and then uh, simplify and get a final number. Okay, so hopefully you're like, yes, yes, I know what that means, you know. So uh, so basically this is pretty simple, right? All we would need to do is take this negative one, plug it in to this, uh, uh, replace this x with negative one, and then square it, right? So that is effectively what we need to do. But why is this confusing? Well, I'm gonna show you why right now. Okay, so what a lot of students do, they're like, okay, I have x squared, and I need to plug in negative one uh, for this x squared. So when you do this, replace this x with negative one, you think that uh, this expression now looks like this, negative one squared, all right? And you might be saying, well, yeah, isn't that right, Mr. YouTube Math Man? I mean, I just replaced the x with negative one. Well, no, this is incorrect, okay? This is not right. And I'll uh, explain to you in one second why. But anyways, um, 
And let's just take this expression right here, negative one squared, because this is another place where a lot of students make an error. So negative one squared, if I said, hey, uh, figure out what this is without your calculator, a lot of students might give the answer positive one, because what they're thinking is, oh, this is going to be negative one times a negative one, a negative times a negative is a positive, so this is positive one. Well, pretty good thinking, however, uh, that is incorrect. Okay, what we have to keep in mind is PEMDAS, the order of operations, okay? So here we have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. We're moving from left to right. So are there any parentheses here? No. Are there any exponents, i.e. powers? Yes, there is, okay? So the power, this two is acting upon this one, not this negative sign. So what we have to do first is this uh, one squared. Now you might be saying, well, isn't this uh, exponent 2 acting, isn't this negative 1? No, not the way it's written, and I'll show you how to uh, distinguish uh, between um, negative 1 squared and this expression. This is one a negative, the opposite of 1 squared. This is what this is saying in mathematics. So 1 squared is what? Well, it's 1 times 1, so that's going to be 1, and then we're going to take the opposite of 1, or the negative of 1, and that is negative 1. And really, outside right here, there's a negative 1 times this 1 squared, okay? All right, now, if you want to um, kind of just double-check this on your, your own, if you have a scientific calculator, you can just type in, without parentheses, negative 1 squared, and you'll see the answer, negative 1. Okay, so, again, let's get back to evaluating. When you evaluate, the big thing that I want you to remember is always... Uh, use parentheses, okay, when substituting or plugging in for a variable, okay? So this is what you want to see. So if I want to evaluate x squared for x is equal to negative 1, I'm going to replace this x here, okay, uh, with a negative 1, but I'm going to use parentheses, just like this, negative 1 squared. You're going to be very explicit when you do this, okay, because now this means something completely different. Now, again, you could check this in your calculator, but negative 1 squared means take negative 1 and multiply it by itself. Negative 1 times negative 1 indeed is a positive 1. Okay, now why would I make a video like this trying to emphasize these things? Well, when you've been teaching math as long as I have for decades and decades, and, you know, of course, I've been studying math for uh, many decades, you know, you have a real advantage as a math teacher because you see thousands and tens of thousands of problems. You see the trends where students commonly um, misunderstand things, okay? I'm sure I was making these errors way back in the early 1980s when I was in high school. Of course, back then, I probably wasn't even paying attention because I wasn't the best of students, so or best of student. Uh, but um, here's the deal, okay? If you got this wrong, certainly don't be discouraged. This is a little thing that hopefully uh, now you understand. But here's the, kind of the big point that I'm going to try to make uh, in this particular video. In math, okay, you learn math one skill at a time, okay? There's that old adage, how do you eat an elephant? One little tiny bite at a time. It's impossible to learn everything, and that's why you have to pay attention. You have to be highly focused when you are um, learning math, okay? If you get distracted, you're going to get confused, and then you're going to make errors, and you're going to get frustrated. So if you need help with algebra, I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave links to all my most popular math courses in the description of this video, but hopefully this little video helped you out. So whether it's my program or another program or another uh, material, just make sure you uh, work on, you know, anything that you don't understand. Okay, you, if you're trying to learn math, you can't be like, I don't understand that. I'm just going to ignore it because <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.